Sister Nathalie Becalte is one of the top leaders at the Synod. The nun is recognized around the globe as an expert on young people, and she is the first woman ever to head up France's Evangelization and Vocations Office, and she joins us now. Sister, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Sister, you are there at the Synod in a very official role. You're one of very few women there. There are only about 10%. How deeply involved are you in the Youth Summit? Well, I think I am involved like all the people here, you know, the youth, because there are many women uh, among the youth who are observers like me. Uh, in fact, we are only 10%, but, you know, it's uh, the first time there are so many women in this uh, Synod Hall. So it's a good thing, and everybody is very active. Uh, of course, even if you, if you are young, a woman, a bishop, we are all together in the same way, and everybody is very involved in the process. Sister, as, as we've been reporting, the world's bishops are gathered in Rome to discuss young people, to discuss faith and vocations. Now, you are no stranger to any of these concerns, and you have worked to address these issues throughout your career. What do you hope will come out of all these discussions? What's your vision for the youth? Well, my vision is that uh, the youth uh, should be the protagonist, you know. They, they are in the church, they are already very active. I can really tell you that in the Synod, uh, they play a major role and they are very well listened to by uh, the bishops. And I'm very happy because they are very connected to the youth. And all together, we realize that uh, we, we are church together, you know, everybody uh, should be active, uh, not just only for the church, but to transform the world. And my hope for this synod is that it will be very fruitful for all the youth in the world. Taking a look at a bigger picture of this synod, sister, as a rule, bishops, priests, even religious brothers, they're allowed to vote on the synod's documents. Religious sisters are not. Will this ever change? Well, we will see, you know, uh, the church is standing step by step. I really feel and I'm very joyful for this wonderful experience here, but because there is um, there is a lot of wind of the Holy Spirit, a lot of energy. Uh, most of the people who are here and uh, almost all bishops think things should go on and change. And so uh, I'm very hopeful that uh, maybe next synod, uh, new things will happen. And what must happen in order to see more women, more leaders like yourself represented more in the church? Well, what is very interesting, you know, in this synod is that the question of women uh, in society, in the church, it's not only a question from women. And uh, we are very happy because many bishops, they talk about the question of women leadership. They know that uh, equality is very important today. Some bishops really uh, support women leadership because they know we have to be both together and to share uh, the vision, to collaborate, uh, because it's a question for the mission. Nowadays, our youth, men and women, they need to see uh, elders, uh, a uh, spiritual guide, mentor, uh, who are both men and women, and many bishops uh, know that. Oh, Sister Baker, thank you so much for your perspective and your insight. It was a great pleasure talking with you. Thank you.